we will discuss about this problem these two network contain same resistance here you see this is r1 this is also r1 this is r2 this is r2 this is r3 this is r3 this is r4 this is r4 so all the resistance are same and similar to each other now in this network this is the voltage source but in this network here is this voltage source for this voltage source 10 volt you have gotten that 2 ampere current at this position now you have to calculate the current at this position of this network when the voltage is changed from this position to this position okay so in this case you have seen that only the voltage source is change that means if i take this is a excitation this is excitation of this network and this is the response this is the response okay so only in this two network the excitation and response are interchange this is response and this is excitation so both this network the excitation and response are interchange but all the remaining part of this two network are in same now what is the current of this position that is what is the value of this current i to calculate this current i you have to know reciprocity theorem what is the reciprocity theorem so using reciprocity theorem we can easily calculate this current i what is the reciprocity theorem reciprocity theorem states that in a linear in a linear bilateral bilateral single source single source reciprocal network reciprocal network so in a linear bilateral single source and reciprocal network the ratio of excitation excitation to response excitation to response must be constant when all the resistance are in same by magnitude and position okay so this is the reciprocity theorem so here is this if i apply this reciprocity theorem in this network so in this case in this case the excitation is 10 volt and response is 2 ampere so the ratio is 2 now in this case the excitation is 20 and this is i it must be equals to 2 because the remaining part of this register of this network are same that's why we can apply this reciprocity theorem so in this case so it will be it will be excitation uh, this is 2 not this is 2 not 5 so it will be 5 so it must be 5 okay this is a response is 2 so excitation to response is equals to it will be 5 so in this case the excitation 
divided by the response must be equals to 5. So, in this case i is equals to 20 by 5 equals to 4 ampere. Now, you have to calculate the direction of the current from the source. So, current must be equals to in this direction not in this direction. So, due to the position or polarity of this voltage source, the current must be equals to in this direction not in this direction. So, current it will be minus 4 ampere. So, this is the reciprocity theorem by using reciprocity theorem you can solve in this type in this type of this problem. So, 